good morning today we are going to discuss about the various classifications of crude drugs so in today's topic we are going to see about the objective of classifying crude drugs and what are the various systems of classification available and then we are going to see the system one by one right so first let me enter into the objective so why we have to classify the crude drugs what's the need to classify the crude drug it's uh, with the main objective to study it in a systematic way so when we study anything in a properly systemized defined standard procedure then it will be very easy for us to understand and to explain it to some others right so the main motto of classifying the crude drugs in a particular order is to study it in a systematic manner so that we can able to understand it very easily and the various systems of classification available are alphabetical morphological chemical pharmacological taxonomical hemotaxonomical and at last serotaxonomical so we are going to discuss each system in an elaborative manner in the subsequent so now we will discuss about alphabetical classification of crude drugs so in all the systems of uh, classification it's a very easy and simplest uh, classification it's based on the principle that we are going to classify all the crude drugs based on the alphabetical order of that particular language so the criteria what we are going to follow here is we are going to classify the crude drugs based on alphabetical order of that particular country's language for example if you are going to classify the crude drugs if you are going to classify the crude drugs uh, by english then we will be classifying on alphabetical order which means from a to z if you are classifying based on tamil language then we will be classifying based on the alphabetical order of that particular language if you are going to classify based on hindi then based on the alphabets of hindi we will be classifying the crude drugs so here the alphabetical classification the crude drugs will be classified based on the alphabetical order of the particular language right and the advantage of following this alphabetical classification is addition and deletion of crude drugs is very easy so if you want to add any crude drug then by knowing the first letter of the particular crude drug we can able to add it very easily right so wherever we want we can able to easily add it and if suppose if any crude drugs name as duplicated if it came twice then we can able to delete it very easily so addition and deletion of crude drugs is very easy in this classification and the second advantage easy to trace any crude drug so if anybody comes and ask where is the particular crude drug is if we know what's the first letter of that particular crude drug we can able to trace it very easily and we can able to find it right so it's very easy to trace any crude drug right then what's the disadvantage of this particular alphabetical class of crude drug it does not give any other additional information about the crude drug so just we can able to identify it very easily but we can't able to know any other information like its morphological characters its microscopical characters or its what is the use of it or it is a chemical constituents present in it we can't able to know any other information about the crude drug by this alphabetical classification right that's a disadvantage of this alphabetical classification right so next we are going to see some examples for example if you are going to classify the crude drug by using english then we will be classifying it from a to z right so we will be writing for a and crude drug for b crude drug like that we will be following up to z that's what we had told in the principle itself so what's the language we are going to use based on the particular alphabetical order of that language we'll be classifying it right and is there any standard 
book following this classification is S. All the pharmacopoeias which are available in our world is following alphabetical system of classification. If you want, you can go to a college library and you can find it in our Indian pharmacopoeia itself. So, it's classifying all the drugs based on the alphabetical order. So, the drugs which are starting with the letter A will be present first and then B and then C, it's, it will go like this, right? Thank you. We will see about the next screw drug in our next class.